Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain SNES here, and today I just wanted to talk about why I think Nukedown is one of the worst Call of Duty maps in all of Call of Duty. The first reason why I hate this map is because of how overplayed it can feel, especially once you get to Black Ops 3 if you've played Black Ops 1 and 2. Because they've brought it back in every single one of the games, you could go back and play Black Ops 1 and then play Nuketown and it feels so overplayed because you've already played it a ton on Black Ops 3. Now if you played Black Ops 1, you know how overplayed it is in that game. It's like every other game you're playing on that map. And it's no different if you go to Black Ops 2 or 3, with Black Ops 2 being the best out of all of them where you're not playing it 24-7. But if you're playing Black Ops 1 or 3, you're most likely going to be playing it all the time. Especially because it's like the number one map for private matches. So if you play with your friends quite a bit, you're going to be playing a lot of Nuketown. So since you're playing it all the time, it can feel really overdone. And I think Black Ops 3 really made it overdone. They tried to morph the map for Black Ops 3 and make it so you got wall runs and stuff everywhere. So they made the map bigger, added wall runs, did these things to the map that I just don't think it's a map for Black Ops 3. It was originally intended for a game that had boots on the ground, movement system, nothing to it. Not even sliding like Ghost does or, or Black Ops 3 does. So in Black Ops 1 it works, but Black Ops 3 it's not made for it even though they tried to make it for Black Ops 3. It just doesn't fit in very well. So the first reason I hate it is because of how overdone the map is, how overplayed it is, how overused it is. It's just think about that and think about how many times you've played Nuketown. You've probably played it 10 times more than any other map in the game. The second reason I dislike Nuketown is because spawn killing or spawn camping or whatever you want to call it you can start a game and right off the bat throw a grenade over the buses in black ops 1 2 3 it doesn't work all that much but just throw a grenade over the buses and trailer and you're most likely going to get a kill because there's always people trying to rush out of spawn and since there's people trying to rush out of spawn you can get a kill with a grenade right off the bat. Again, Black Ops 1 is the biggest culprit of this because the map is so much smaller and people are constantly throwing grenades over those buses. It's kind of ridiculous. It's like if you're gonna play that map and you don't have a grenade on your class, good luck. But it's not just the fact that you could get killed right off the bat with a grenade over one of the buses. It's the fact that since it's a small map, you know where people are going to spawn. I was playing with a player that didn't know how to play the game all that much, or didn't know the ins and outs of Call of Duty all that much, and how spawns worked, and that person just got spawn trapped over and over and over again by me, because I knew if I killed them on, like, let's say, left and right, if I killed them on the left side of the map, and I stayed on the left side of the map for, like, five seconds, they have the time to spawn in, and then I know they're on the right side of the map. Go over there, kill them, and repeat with the different sides of the map rotating every single time. So it's very easy to spawn trap somebody on that map. And today, while I was looking up things or reasons people hate Nuketown to give me ideas, this guy, he got spawn trapped over and over and over again by this one sniper that was sitting in one of the houses on the bottom floor as far back as he could where he still was able to see where people spawn and then just sniping them over and over and over again. And you could see in that one kill cam he got two or three people when it was only the kill cam for himself and it wasn't a final kill cam or anything. And the third reason I hate this map is because of how small it is. It makes the game like 10 times more fast paced and you don't know what's going on all that much. And that doesn't really make sense with the fact that I said people spawn trap you. But a lot of the times, if you're actually trying to play that map like a normal map, you're just going to get killed over and over and over again because there's constantly people around you. You can never think like, okay, I just spawned over here. There's going to be somebody like right up here, but there's somebody off to your right as soon as you spawn in. You could spawn in and there's somebody that just got into your spawn and killed like three people and now you're next and you just spawned in the middle of that. It's kind of a crappy situation. One of the worst ways to play this map that I've found is if you're playing an objective game mode. If you're playing like Domination or Hardpoint or anything like that where you have to get to an objective and stay on that objective 
good luck trying to cap that because unless you're really dominating the other team, the other team's going to find a way to come over and kill you and everybody's just rushing to different areas of the map that it's really congested and you're always going to be you're running into people. You're not going to have a break to do anything. And one thing that's just really annoying about this map is the way it's overplayed and how people don't use like the weapons that you think you should be using on it. Like, I get it, people should have the uh, free will to use what weapons they want, but think about it. Small map, you're probably going to want to run SMGs and shotguns and things like that, which is what I usually go with when I do play this map. But there are a lot of people, like, quickscopers are everywhere on this map. It just walk up some stairs, quickscopes, you go into a backyard, quickscope. There's quickscopers everywhere. Black Ops 2 is the biggest culprit of that one because of how easy it is to quickscope people. Black Ops 1 is the best about it because, well, have you tried quickscoping in that game? It's downright impossible. Now that wraps up this video. I know that my points may not have been the best, but it took me a while to try to record this in multiple recordings. So uh, I'm sorry if this is uh, all out of place and stuff, but this has been Captain SNES signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. If you haven't hit the notification button next to the subscribe button yet, do that. It notifies you whenever I upload a video. And uh, peace out. See you on Wednesday for a new gaming video.